I said, some people, you know, you might feel nervous when you're new at something, but I'm not, okay? I'm not at all nervous. It's a very simple program. As long as you do exactly what we teach you, it will be well. Um, it really is a piece of cake. You know what I mean by that? The product does most of the work anyway for you. And that's the second thing that I want you to be confident in is the product. Okay, so we can just write down the product. The people that do the best with our company are the ones that believe the most in the product and that the customer is going to benefit from owning it. How many of you, just by a show of hands, have ever heard of Cutco before you came for the interview? Okay. How many of you know someone that owns it? One, two, uh, Ryan, do you, okay. Do you know how long they've had it? Uh, I've had a hunting unit for oh. four years now. Great. Personally. Okay, cool. Now, when I started the job, I had I had never heard of Cutco. My friend referred me to work here, so that's how I knew of the company, but I'd never known someone that owned Cutco, and I never knew of the knives. It's not going to take very long, I can tell you right now, as soon as you start doing appointments and, and uh, demonstrations where you see people that own Cutco, and have owned it for a very long time, and they love it. But if you've never used it, and you don't know somebody that's used it, how do you think you're going to get confidence in the product? Try it yourself. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you three things to jot down, how you will get good, high confidence in Cutco. Okay, number one, it's the first one that Nicole said, is to use it. When you get your sample kit, use it as much as possible, okay? In training tomorrow, we have what we call a cutting clinic. We're going to cut every kind of food possible. We're going to teach you to cut pennies. We're going to practice the rope and lather. We're going to cut a lot of stuff. So you want to use it. When we take breaks today, hey, jump up and stand over the table. Grab it. Use your, put your hand. You know, we're not going to cut something today. And don't cut yourself. But I want you to get a feel for the knives, right? Pick them up. Use them. I want you to get really confident. And how you get there is by using it. The second thing is to learn about it. Okay, so really pay attention when we talk about it in training. Okay, really pay attention. And then the third thing is to go shopping. It's good for you to know what else is out there, okay? Not at Walmart, but at a higher quality store, like Williams and Sonoma, The Bay, House Knives. Okay, that's where you want to go look for something comparable to where the quality of Cutco is. It's good for you to know what else is out there. Now, I'm going to talk about my objectives, but just before I talk about my objectives for you, is I just want to say congratulations on being accepted. We don't get to work with everyone that applies, and one of the reasons that you were accepted was because of the impression that you made in the interview. One of the largest reasons for the success of this team in Calgary is because of the people that work here. Not just Cutco, but it's the people that work here. You may have gone through an interview where there was more people in the interview than here today, or, or less. Either way, we saw a lot more people that are here today that uh, we get an opportunity to work with through all the interviews we do. This is my opportunity too, just to remind you of our team, is our organization is the number one office in Canada, and we've had that role for the last nine years in our role. Um, we've been better, we've done better in sales volume than any office in the country for the last nine years. Currently, we're the number four office in North America, and we've already broke the company record. Um, we are on pace to do about $1.8 million in Cutco sales for this year. We have broken, I think now, about six of the la of six records this year alone, and we almost have every single one of them in the company. So why I tell you that is not to impress you. It's just to impress upon you that the people you're going to work with know what they're doing. They, they do really well with it. Our team is a great group of people, and we have a lot of success. So you've really started with your organization at a great time. Not to mention, you know, at this time of the year, people buy Cutco not just for themselves, but for gifts and that's really exciting for you too. So I do have two goals for you working with us, okay? And I'm going to get you to write them down. They're my training objectives, okay? So I have two goals, or you can write down training objectives, okay? And the first one is financial success. Now, I may bring up some student examples along the way. That's only because of the fact that I don't want someone who is, uh, you know, a student feel like they don't have an example here because we do have students that work with us, but we have a lot of people that work with the organization, don't go to school, work with us full time. So the examples I use apply to everybody, but I may bring that example up um, just as I go through some of these financial examples. So when I was in university, I didn't really understand the term financial success. I understood the term starving student very well. I knew what that meant as I went through my first couple years at school. I had previous jobs that I worked as much as possible for as little as possible. That was mainly due to my experience and my age. I think that's why that happened. But I want you to make a lot of money. And we have students that will work um, in a summer and make enough money in one summer to pay for the next full year of school, living and tuition, everything. And the thing that I like about that is because they can focus on what's important. 
We've had people that, um, including myself, you know, I've been to university both ways. One without a lot of money, which was on a loan before I started working with Kepco, and one with income, and that was after. And just a little tip, I have to tell you, it's a lot more fun to be school with money than not with money. But uh, it's nice when you have the income you need, because you don't have to worry about paying your bills, right? You can focus on other things like your grades. If you're someone in a situation like some of you mentioned that have children, you know, when income is taken care of, you can focus on your kids rather than have to figure out, you know, how to pay bills and, and those sorts of things. I don't think money's everything. It doesn't make you truly happy. But I think it's a lot nicer to have it than not have it. And I think that uh, money allows you to have freedom. Freedom to do what you want, when you want, and with whomever you want. And I think that's exciting. One of the best things with Vector is the chance to make a great deal of income. It's nice because we have a floor to stand on. We have a base rate of pay. You get $19 no matter what happens when you sit down with somebody. So you don't have to feel pressure to make a sale, which is nice. As a student, I really liked that because I had bills and I had to pay for things. I didn't live at home. I had to pay for my own rent and tuition. And so having a guaranteed pay made me feel a lot more confident with it. But what also is very exciting is the chance to make more money, and that's through our incentive program. And uh, for students, you know, it's really, when I think of that example, it's one of the highest paying jobs in North America for someone who works not full time year round. You know, they have that opportunity to make a short period of money, a short period of time with a lot of money. Uh, we've had students be able to graduate debt free and have money in the bank when they graduate and be already financial, financially stable upon graduation. I have people that will earn in a four month time period anywhere from a couple thousand dollars to as much as forty or fifty thousand dollars. And Jennifer Lowe, who you'll meet, she works with us in this office, is she worked with us for now she's in on her fifth year, but through four years at Mount Royal University, she made over eighteen thousand dollars for three sub three summers in a row. Her first summer was about five grand, and after that it was eighteen thousand for the next three summers in a row. And uh, she's been able to graduate. Last year she graduated with her degree in business from Mount Royal with very, very, very little bit of loan. You know, she was already going to school when she started with us, but very, almost dead free. Um, Dan Pasefka, he worked with us as he went to school, and he made uh, just shy of 15000 within three months working with us. And he's an active uh, badminton player, and so he traveled a lot and made a lot of money in the summer with a flexible job. Jessica Johnson's a competitive swimmer. She goes to University of Calgary and was able to make ten grand. And uh, that ten grand, uh, she made only working about eight to ten weeks in the summer because she was only in the city for eight to ten weeks, which was a, a great thing for her. Um, Jared T. you'll meet. He's one of our assistant managers. Uh, this past summer made over eighteen thousand. Uh, Brittany Serafini, she's a, a manager that uh, an assistant manager, and will be a sales manager next summer in our, one of our Edmonton offices. Uh, this summer, Brittany made over thirty thousand dollars, and because of the money she made, she was able to go to New Zealand and Australia for four months, and that's where she is right now. I see her Facebook status change every other day. To just jumped off a bridge, and now I'm going to get in a plane and jump out of that, and doing a lot of fun things because of the income she made. And Jake Dobush who's the top new rep in our company this year. He goes to the University of Alberta. He's taking mechanical engineering. And uh, this summer he made uh, $37,000 with the company and he's now made over $40,000. He's responsible for selling over $100,000 since May of Cutco. Top new rep, but exciting when you know that that opportunity is available there. Now, we have sales reps that pursue this as a career, not a part-time position around another job, around school. And we have a lot of career reps that work in an organization. Bonnie Fast is someone who works in this office and we have an opportunity to meet her at different events. And she's worked with Vector now for over 16 years. Um, she's made over $100,000 the last three years working with us. She travels extensively. She doesn't. Um, she takes a lot of time off to pursue her own personal endeavors that she has, but has a great business uh, as she works with Vector. And then Sybil and Linda, Linnell, Brian, Margaret, they're all parents in Vector. And uh, they all have children, and we have a lot of moms who make over six figures and they work part-time around their kids' obligations. Second thing that I want to talk about is meaningful experience, okay? So I'll get you to jot that down. This is my second objective for you, and that's meaningful experience. The most important thing that you're going to get from working with is this. Job security, I believe, is not in the company that you work for. It's what you can do for the company. If you have a set of skills that the company needs to be successful, that will secure your position. If a company is going to lay people off or downsize, they're not going to let go of people that add a lot of value. And I think we've seen that in the last year and a half with the economy. That it doesn't matter how big the company is. If you don't add value, you know, then they will let you go very quickly. So the name of the company isn't what gives you security. It's what you have.